This is your no bullshit review of Heaven Hill bottled in bond. That's what makes me sad. I mean, look at this bottle. It's just timeless looking. It looks awesome. And that's what I thought that this bourbon was going to be. Um, one of my favorites is Heaven Hill 80 as far as like super budget bourbon. I really like this a lot. But I didn't really care for the uh, bottle and bond. I'm not sure why, but uh, I didn't. So uh, let's talk about it. What do I have wrote down for it? This might be a quick review. Meh. Disappointing, bad value, but cool bottle. That's what I got wrote down. Sorry, but that's what I got. Um, I've also seen some other people say this isn't exactly like when they do blind taste tests or whatever, they don't really think it's that great of a, you know, bourbon or whatever as far as like for the price point. What's the price point's 45 bucks. So 45 bucks, are you really getting an amazing bottle of bourbon? I don't think you are. You know, I think there's definitely some other ones out there you could purchase uh, for the price. So with that said, let's talk about the numbers. So what I have here is for sweetness, 8.1. Again, it's 100 proof, so 100 proof and under, you're gonna get pretty sweet. Smokiness, 3.5. Not really smoky at all, not really floral at all, I got a one. Harshness, 3.5. These are all gonna be, honestly, these are all under five. So this is just underperforming bourbon. Complexity, 4.1. Body, 4.2. It's, it's pretty thin feeling, and it doesn't really dance on your taste buds very long. Um, nor is there a lot of fairies dancing on your taste buds. There's not a lot of complexity. Uh, value, I got a 2.5, and that might be a little bit high, in my opinion, for 45 bucks. Um, it reminds me of Heaven Hill 80 a little bit, but just not as I expected. I mean, as far as like the, the base of it, I could, I could tell that it definitely is probably this, but it's just not that great. Um, you know, for $45, I think you get some Legion or get two bottles of Jim Beam repeal batch for, for all, you know, for the same price. You know, you can get that or just go with the Cooper's Craft like I got sitting here. And you'll be really happy if you get that as far as uh, you'll save 10 bucks and you'll probably enjoy it. So, unfortunately, I have to say that this Heaven Hill bottle and bond wasn't really that great which is unfortunate. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys have had this, go ahead and put a comment down below and let me know what you think of it and uh, if you can find it in your area, etc. cetera. And uh, until next time, later. The focus isn't working. Maybe if I hide behind the bottle. Wow, oh, there it is.